Hello, my name is Dr. Ramiro Suñiga from HealthNet. We know you may have questions about the COVID-19 vaccine, and we are going to address the most common ones here, including vaccine safety, side effects, fertility, previous COVID-19 infection, and eligibility. The COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. Each vaccine was tested before it was approved for public use. More than 70,000 volunteers of diverse racial and ethnic backgrounds, as well as age groups and medical conditions, took part in trials to be sure that the vaccines are safe and effective. After nearly two years of the pandemic and hundreds of millions of doses administered in the U.S. and billions throughout the world, we know that the vaccines prevent serious illness, hospitalization, and death. Getting the vaccine is the best way to protect your family, friends, and neighbors. Side effects can vary, but are usually mild with the COVID-19 vaccine. They may include a sore arm, fever, or body aches, but that's normal and it means that the vaccine is doing its job to help the immune system build protection. Side effects that are more severe are very rare, and the benefits of the COVID-19 vaccine far outweigh the related risk of infection. COVID-19 can damage the lungs, heart, and brain, which can lead to long-term effects or long COVID that can last for months. The best way to protect yourself and others from infection is getting the COVID-19 vaccine. There is no evidence that suggests that the COVID-19 vaccine causes fertility-related problems in men or women. If you are planning a pregnancy, there is no need for you to avoid the COVID-19 vaccine. If you had your first dose before becoming pregnant, you should get a second shot to optimize your protection. In fact, women who are pregnant and are not vaccinated have a higher risk of illness, so the best way to keep yourself and the baby safe is to get the COVID-19 vaccine. While it's true that someone who already had COVID-19 develops some level of protection, we don't know for how long or how much. What we do know though, is that the likelihood of getting infected again is higher without the vaccination. Getting vaccinated can significantly reduce the risk of reinfection. For those who already had COVID-19 and then later got the vaccine, their level of protection is even higher. If you already had COVID-19, speak to your doctor about the best time to get the vaccine after infection. If you or your family members are concerned that getting the COVID-19 vaccine may impact your immigration status, there is no need to worry. We know that this is a sensitive topic, but the information that you provide when scheduling a COVID-19 vaccine is not shared with immigration services or law enforcement. In fact, you don't even need to show a state ID to get the vaccine. We are in this together, and the more people that get the vaccine, the more likely we can keep our communities safe. The vaccine is available to you and your loved ones at no cost, and your insurance will not bill you. We hope this information was useful. Visit myturn.ca.gov to schedule a free vaccine appointment. If you have additional questions, please visit healthnet.com and click on COVID-19 Resource Center or speak with your physician. <music>